How do you manage your company's technical debt? First, what is technical debt? Technical debt begins the instant you make any decision. Typically, these decisions are along a spectrum of easy to implement versus the best overall solution. Here are the parameters. The easy to implement solution, you usually have to change later or constantly can uh, work on that piece of code or functionality. The best overall solution takes longer uh, to implement. So there's a natural tension between getting it done now and getting it done uh, for the future or for uh, growth. And that's technical debt. When you make decisions to take a shortcut, you need to log uh, the impact of that decision. There's a technology term called refactoring. And this is the restructuring of existing code and data. You should be refactoring your code on a regular basis. You should be constantly updating and tuning the backend code, data, and infrastructure that make up your business. If you're not, you're just building an ever-increasing amount of technical debt that at some point in the future, you're going to have to pay. This could involve uh, infrastructure issues with outages, your system's going down. This could involve the inability to develop uh, new features and products because the code base and the data are not structured in a way to add more features and functionality. Knowing that sometimes you'll make decisions to increase your technical debt, you should also have a policy of, of regularly decreasing your technical debt. What's a good method for doing that? Constantly chip away at it. Otherwise, the interest is going to build. Another kind of new term bubbling up is design debt. The simplest way I found to say that is when you build features and functionality but don't talk to customers, you're basically building the wrong thing. The technology people have to rebuild it. That's technology debt. So whether it's infrastructure uh, not scaling to meet your needs, whether it's you don't have the right feature set, constantly work at your technical debt, be aware of the decisions that you make that may increase or decrease your technical debt, and always be thinking about refactoring at the appropriate times, rebuilding your code base and your data.